Uh, so, uh, today I have a really special guest, Mr. Brain. Hello, Mr. Brain. Hello. Oh, hello. What are you? Uh, well, I'm a neuroscientist. Oh, hello, Mr. Neuroscientist. Uh, I have a question for you. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can ask me a question. Okay, uh, how can one be creative? Oh, that's a very interesting question and a very important question. Yeah, yeah. How can one be creative? Well, you know, in order to be creative, you have to experience many things and you have to store all these memories in your brain. Okay, so you experience many things and you store these memories in your brain. And then what happens? So creativity is actually the recombination of these memories within your brain. So when your brain reorganizes these memories, sometimes dots are linked and you come up with new, innovative, creative uh, linkage and you know nothing comes out of nothing. So you have to first store all these memories and then presto, you make a new combination and you can be creative. Okay, so what you're saying is that we have to experience many things and but in order to recombine these elements, what should you do? Well, actually, you need to engage yourself in mind wanderings. You know, uh, you know, you don't have to work hard all the time because that would mean that the brain does not have the space for recombination. You have to sometimes idle your time away. So work hard, study hard, but then have an kind of an off time, so to speak, and during that off time, just empty your brain and engage in recombination, which happens actually in pretty random ways. Okay, so I understand your point. So all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, right? Yeah, that's correct. So you work and you study, and then you have an idling time. But how can you idly you know, get your brain into an idling mode? effectively? Well, there are some techniques and one of them is to take a walk or go for a run. That is actually what I do. Also, Mr. Ryan, do you go for a run? Yeah, I do all the time. So what I do typically is I read books, work on the paper, and then I go for running. So during the running, my brain gets reorganized and presto, I have a new idea. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Brain. So I got it. Uh, that's really wonderful. So probably I will try that. So study hard, work hard first, and then uh, you go into an idling mode by yeah, walking or jogging. Okay, I would do that. So Mr. Brain, thank you for your uh, advice. And would you be able to come back again and uh, you know tell us m m more about the brain? Of course, I, you know, uh, because I'm always with you, right? I'm, actually, I'm just, you know, uh, your sidekick, so uh, I'll be always here to, you know, answer your questions. Okay, thank you, Mr. Brain. Uh, what, my sidekick? Oh, no, my pleasure. <laughs>